attention to matters outside the classroom and the school. So, number one, my first experience with the union was as a student teacher at Brocklehurst Junior Secondary in Kamloops, BC, March 1972. I was stunned to find myself following the school principal down the main street in Kamloops in a march led by our local president, Larry Keane, protesting Wacky Bennett's proposal to underfund the teacher's pension fund. I was impressed that the local store owners didn't mind us going down the street blocking traffic. The march was pre-approved. In fact, they waved at us and shouted us their support. I was told that this is what you have to do to be a successful BC teacher. <laughs> you had to get out there and march or no one would pay any attention to you. <laughs> the second experience was in Surrey in my first year of teaching Princess Margaret Senior Secondary. The senior math teacher there, Mr. Lloyd Edwards, originally from Jamaica, passionately believes the teachers should run the schools. Yay. School principals were superfluous. For years, his motion from Surrey that was put on the BCTF agenda was to eliminate school principals from the system. Uh, it would hardly ever reach the floor, but it was there for years and years. He believed we didn't need anyone to tell us what to do. We should discuss it and organize it ourselves. So, in 1973, Princess Margaret had a fully functioning staff committee at that time. Uh, Moira, who is now the BCTF executive, she was part of that, and Kerry Gibbs uh, at that time too. Uh, Lloyd always encouraged us to use her own initiative to organize things for the betterment. So, contrary to what we do nowadays, we demanded and designated a teacher to do the timetable. That person listened to our concerns and set up the timetable to meet our needs, not the administrative needs. We then invited staff members to come in and we helped set up a new timetable. For example, we were on a semester system and the senior chem and math teachers were finding the students took math 11, the first semester of grade 11, and then math 12 in the second semester of grade 12, there was too much of a gap. So what they did is we put Math 11 back to back with PE 11, because they were not getting fit either. And <laughs> so this then became, an, for over the two semesters, the students thrived better and everyone was happy. Oh yes, Surrey school teaching certainly radicalized me. Uh, the third highlight I want to just mention is I experienced a number of less than perfect school principals. That's the no. School no. At. Yes. I can tell I you all, but I don't want to step too much on toes. Anyway, both in Vancouver and Surrey School District, uh, the, some of these people they were seriously starting to destroy teachers' lives by their comments, their memos, and their evaluations. In two cases, I was one of the victims, and I learned to contact the union right away. In those days in Surrey, a group of teachers, we brought forth a motion of non-confidence in the school administration. Uh, each time the vote passed, but then the school would get punished. So teachers were forced to transfer out or to take on other courses when it came to September. So I began to think there was a better way and to work with administrators with strong in-school staff committees to uh, get them to see the teacher's position much more, but it takes a group effort. And in my last years ha at uh, Hamburg School, I've certainly found the time to be able to do that, um, having given up more time just being on the executive. Uh, lastly, it's also important to get out of one's own school, go to the BCTF, be on the local executive, be on district committees so you get out and meet the fine teachers that are our members. I can't thank the VSTA enough for enabling me to meet so many fine pe people. And I'm going to be joining the Retired Teachers Association in July. Yeah, My are. activism is not over. <laughs> 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 Next we have John Muir.